I love Honey Baked Ham for the holidays. We're gonna do a different flair on it using some aromatic spices, pomegranate molasses, and glizz. This is a fully cooked ham, and first we're going to poke it with cloves. Studying the ham with cloves adds that extra layer of flavor. Aromatic flavor. Just so it goes below the surface. Be careful how much you stud it, because whatever you put in, you must take out, because you can't eat these. Okay, so for the glaze, we're gonna use about a half a cup of pomegranate molasses. Delicious, very sweet. Cuts the sugar as well. We're not gonna use sugar in this dish. We are gonna use some honey, about two tablespoons. Some mustard, about two tablespoons as well. And that's it. Boom. Perfect. Preheat your oven to 325. We're gonna glaze it and we're gonna glaze it every 10 to 15 minutes until it's warm through. Now it's time to remove the cloves. Make sure you don't leave any in. Use the carving fork to hold the ham in place. Cut perpendicularly right up to the bone. You'll feel it. And then start slicing as thick or as thin as you want. I'm gonna do a combo up to the bone. So now once you have all the slices on this side along the bone, you're gonna take your knife and graze the bone, pushing the knife away from you along the bone. And here we go, we've got some pieces right here. We're gonna continue to slice along the bone. Today I'll have slices pretty thick, but I'm gonna also slice very thin for tomorrow's lunch. Ham sandwich. I like to plate the ham in a, in a rustic fashion, alternating its position on the plate. We're gonna make some acidulated water by adding lemon juice to water, so that way our apple garnish doesn't turn brown on the plate. Slice the apple along the core, and then make just rustic wedges, however you like to eat apple. Let it sit here in the liquid for about five minutes. And let's use, you know, whatever fresh herbs you have. But of course, this is a seasonal dish. We're gonna use some sage, a little bit of watercress for that extra pop of green. You can use any kind of microgreen that you like. I really love uh, amaranth microgreens. So first we'll layer with the greens, and then we'll start to add our apples. A little like that, a little like that. Rustic, simple, beautiful. <sighs> Cheesy. So just with your brush, with whatever's on your brush, you could just drizzle a little bit of the glaze right over the ham. Not too much, just enough to give it that pop of flavor. A fun, creative, festive way to feed a large group. <laughs>